Welcome to the Social Lens and thank you for watching. In a shocking turn of events, the Rainburg Magistrates Court has become the epicenter of a gruesome murder investigation that has sent shockwaves through the community. Today, we delve into the heart-wrenching story of a targeted killing that has not only claimed two lives but has also cast a shadow over the pursuit of justice. Before we unravel the details of this harrowing incident, let's step back and understand the background of the assault case that has been lingering in the courts for five long years. This case involves four police officers accused of assaulting a woman who tragically lost her life in the recent attack. Our journey begins in 2018 when the victim, held in police custody over a suspected house robbery, alleged severe mistreatment at the hands of these officers. The assault case, a tale of brutality and power, has faced numerous delays, leaving justice hanging in the balance. Fast forward to the present, and we find ourselves in the midst of a tragedy that unfolded just meters away from the courthouse. As our hearts ache for the victims, let's explore the lives that were abruptly cut short. The couple, on their way to the Randburg Magistrates Court for the resumption of the assault case, fell victim to a merciless attack. The woman, a key witness in the trial against the accused police officers, had accused them of assault with intent to cause grievous bodily harm. The National Prosecuting Authority had deemed the case urgent, taking measures to secure crucial evidence and ensure a fair trial. A suspected hit unfolded as a gunman, reportedly emerging from a black Mercedes-Benz, opened fire on the couple. The brazen attack occurred just outside the Randburg Magistrates' court premises, sending panic and chaos through the area. The assailant's swift escape has triggered a citywide manhunt, intensifying concerns about the safety of witnesses involved in sensitive cases against law enforcement officers. In the wake of this shocking double homicide, the Randburg Magistrates' Court has not remained silent. How did the court respond to this unprecedented tragedy? Swiftly granting an application to seize the firearms and cell phones of the accused police officers, the court has taken a bold step towards justice. Compelling the officers to undergo gunpowder residue tests, the court is determined to gather crucial forensic evidence linked to the murders of the two witnesses. This unprecedented move underscores the gravity of the situation and emphasizes the need for a thorough and impartial investigation. The brutal slaying of the witnesses has sparked outrage and fear within the community, shedding light on the vulnerability of those who step forward to testify against law enforcement officers. Concerns about witness protection and the potential for intimidation within the justice system are now at the forefront of public discourse. Advocacy groups and legal experts are calling for a comprehensive review of witness protection programs and increased measures to ensure the safety of those involved in high-stakes cases. The National Prosecuting Authority has issued a statement condemning the heinous act and expressing its unwavering commitment to ensuring justice for the victims. The urgent application to secure evidence from the accused police officers demonstrates the determination to uncover the truth behind the murders. The NPA has vowed to work closely with law enforcement agencies to apprehend the perpetrators and bring them to justice. As the investigation unfolds, the justice system faces scrutiny and calls for reforms to witness protection programs intensify. The brutal incident serves as a stark reminder of the challenges inherent in holding those in positions of power accountable and the need for comprehensive measures to safeguard the integrity of the legal process. If you found this video informative, please click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Until next time.